Okay, Albert. Come. So I lied. Albert was too much of a wimp to do his own video. So I'll do it. Yeah. All right. Um. So we'll start off with uh, T side. That's the the hard part, I guess. Because this is CT side of this map, or a GR side. It's, just in case you don't know, GR is CT and BL is T. And I'm just taking that from Counter Strike because that's what they're called, and I'm used to it. And um, anyways. So you start with five people here. You can um, you probably want you can have a sniper peek this box if you want initially. Watch the bridge cross. You know the crossing bridge. Just get that kill. You do it with a rifle, but honestly, uh, I've hit like one out of like a thousand tries here, so it's not worth it. Um, so then you want to keep an eye on middle. So there's gonna be I peek at like this usually. You know like just something crazy because there's usually snipers or you can peek at like. Like this, peekaboo, you know. You don't want to just be like la 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 la. You know, you're gonna get ripped. So, um, okay. So, uh, Albert, go go show me like ran go show them like the random spots a sniper can pick you from mid. Where to expect them? Just like peek me. I'll be standing on the bridge. So you're running out, and then you're gonna watch the under bridge. That's one of the most common spots. Where else is there? Top yep, of the, the top, top of the box. Obviously. Right. He just he could jump on top of the box, peek you. There's a uh, they like going to be B-connector, right? They get there really early, so you might not crack. be able to see them. In case you guys are wondering, um, you can see the B-connector guys sometimes if you get a really good spawn and you peek middle like this. But this is risky, because there could be a sniper there, and, you, you know, it's not really worth it. All right, what else there? There's the two sides of the bridges, too. Show them that. Oh, the corners, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's left right. side bridge. They peek it like that. And what about right side? Show them that. So you peek in, and it's like, whoop. Peekaboo, you know. Alright, and those are the spots you're gonna have to keep an eye on middle. If you drop here, go CT. Peek middle. From CT. Um, so you, if you push middle to a connector, you just could be a guy there. So you wanna watch that. You, you maybe you wanna pre fire it, like boom, you know, whatever. Um, if you're pushing up middle, there's you should watch that. This, on top of the boxes, and right here in this corner. Those are the most common spots for middle. Um, if you wanna. Usually you don't want to take middle um, unless it's a split. You don't want a five-man middle because you have nowhere to go. You're going to have to take a site from the back, which is debatable. It could be easy on some teams. Um, all right, so you say, let's say you want to take A. I'll give you a basic split. Um, come, come in on. Actually, stay A connector. Go A connector. So let's say you want to take A. I'll give you a basic setup, which would be you take a uh, guy, two a guy, two guys a connector, three guys a long. You could throw a smoke, which you could throw like this. I think it covered as the CT or the where they peak. And then when you're running up, you want to peak the top, which everyone knows. The bottom right, left, and then over that box right there. And close up right here, and there. That's it. And you don't want to peak bridge. You're gonna want to smoke that off, and not worry about that. That is smoked off too. I should do that neat nade, so you could use that if you want. Also, um, when you're taking sight, you have to be aware of here and this box right here. So, you, but to get to avoid those spots, there's a lot of spots. You just throw flashes and nades to uh, distract them or maybe kill them. You know, maybe like throw a flash like that or something, something like that. Um, you could also boost a connector. Come, you could, you could if you want to do a fake or something. You want to boost a connector. You can boost someone up there. They can go back to mid. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, and as you're taking A, uh, you can, I suggest nading A top. Throwing nades up there, pre-firing, you know, making sure everything's smoked. You don't want to send everyone up ladder, but you want to check that spot right there. You can do it by sitting right here. Check the, check this spot up there. Uh, go peek like this, maybe. Just like a fake peek. Since you have a low FPS, you can fly up and down ladders. Um, peek that. And once you're on site, you want to peek this. And then under stairs and stairs. And that's just that's just about every spot I named, and that's the only spot anyone will never be at, basically. And yeah, and once you take it, you plant the bomb wherever. You can plant it wherever. And you want a guy playing on, uh, probably on site, generally right here, maybe watching the CT push right there along the wall. Don't peek bridge too often. You can peek it from here, but it's not necessarily a good idea. Um, and after pushing, don't be too hasty. Just flash off, nade, whatever. Fall back. Um, you can hide here. They can only see your red name. They can't see your head. And yeah, that's just that's the general A take. And uh, the guys, the three guys who push up, that's for them. Um, 
I didn't say much about the A connector guys, but basically A connector guys are just to put you put them there so that you don't get you don't go five minute long and you just get you know sprayed down from a top whatever. Go ahead, connect, Albert. And then do that jump onto the box. So A connector guys can jump up on that box right there, get a good angle on top A, and it's just a good area to have. Um, double jump into the window, Albert. No, it's on the edge of the box. Jesus. <laughs> do it. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's a ninja spot if you guys want to know. That's a crazy angle if you guys want to use that. Courtesy of Mav. <laughs> Alright, um... So yeah, and that's basically, you just don't want to split it up. You can throw nades from a connector as well. You gotta learn, throw a nade from there. Flash, draw a flash. Just a general flash somewhere here. So you can nade through that opening. Or right there, yeah. yeah that was a bad one, it's more, go more to your right. <laughs> Alright. More to your right. Throw another nade, just throw a nade. This is the standard one. Yeah. So that's too, more to your right, noob. Too much to your left, yeah. Alright. That one's too low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does stay a lot, right? Alright. Alright. All right. Here, I'll show you. Boost me in a connect. I'll show them the name. Generally, it works like this. You just go like, oop, over there, corner. And just nade him right there, flash him right there, whatever. Generally, you don't have to aim exactly, but that's how I do it, so. Yeah, so that's a sight. And, um, here, um, just do the next round. We don't have much time. A B take. Come to spawn. Actually, no, go into B and play, um, the pushed up in the barn angle. No, peak barn, peak barn. I'm gonna go All from right, your spawn. Alright, Garrett always dies. What do you mean? Garrett, you oh. talking about barn, peak the crack? Or Harvey always Not the him? crack, but the peak. Just peak and then the crack after. So say you're pushing B, um, peak it, Albert. No, outside of B, outside of B. Like, I mean, don't peak the crack right now. Peak, like, uh, outside of B. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, that. Here. Just a general, that's like the most common thing. So, if you're pushing B, you're gonna wanna cover Let's say you push five people B, which is not not a bad strat. It's pretty decent. I mean, it's it's, it's not gonna hurt you. But um, so you get you can get a guy to spot middle as well. Like maybe watch B connector, like I showed you earlier. See if anyone went there. But usually you won't see them. So you just expect them there. Expect them to be right and left. So as you're pushing, the guy can peek. Peek, Albert. The guy can peek. So you gotta wanna pre-fire that. Maybe nade it. That's the most common. Just nade that, and um, it does a lot of damage. The next thing you want to do is you're going to have to probably flash this on your left. Actually, no, there's also another lang angle. Uh, go crack. So, yeah, you see that there's that little corner right there as you're pushing up? Easy for them to kill you. So, you're going to want to you're gonna want to maybe crouch up and, like, surprise. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But, see, it's, it's a good angle to peek like that, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll go through tunnels. And then once you're, um, once you're there... Once you check those two spots, you're gonna want to maybe flash, flash this in here from, from somewhere around there, so that they don't push you and peek the right, peek, peek it like this, and then just peek it like that, and then peek it like that. Basically, that's the how you do it. And you're gonna send, you're gonna want to peek this after that, you know, pre-fire that. But your teammates are gonna want to do that. You're gonna the first guy who uh, peeks the connector is probably gonna want to move up like this. Pre-fire that, pre-fire this, pre-fire that, go in here. You could pre-fire everything, basically, all these angles, they're all your advantage. So, just generally like that. You basically want to go lower so you clear, this is B connector we call it, um, or lower, B lower, whatever, doesn't matter. But B connector, uh, you go here just to make sure nobody's here, and once they're not, come help your team. Um, you can go heaven, or upper barn, whatever. Nade off into sight, oops, fell in. Nade off into sight like that, nades the double stack. So right here, nades there. Uh, but as you're taking B, you're gonna want to flash over a bunch of flashes. Check that, check that, and then you're gonna push in. You're gonna want to check. Watch out here all the time. Yeah, right there, and go on the ledge, Albert. Yeah, peek out from the ledge. Yeah, they peek there as well. Go uh, catch up or flat. Um, that's uh, they can be there as well. So you're gonna want to outshoot them here. It's hard to do it because. Uh, they have a better angle, obviously. So, and once you peek that, you probably want to run out here, peek that, peek the top right there, then peek the lower and this box, both sides. And that's your whole team. That's what's going to be doing. So you're going to have like a lot of cover. So don't worry about getting all of them by yourself. And the last spot, it's right there. Just see the red name, I think, and you just kill them if you want. 
And that's basically, in, like, if you take five people there, that's that's basically all the spots you watch and all the spots you you cover with your team. So you're going to have to break it up with your own teammates. Everyone's different. Uh, good spots in B, I'd suggest sitting here, watching, not necessarily the back, but watching, because you're going to have a teammate in the back. After you plant, you're going to want to keep a guy, um, I'll show it next one, I guess, but, well, upper barn, you want to keep a guy here. Then you want to keep a guy maybe, like, right here. Watch in the back, like that. Maybe a guy in here. And a guy here. And the last guy somewhere in sight. Just anywhere, hiding. And that's probably, that's, that's, that's only if you have five people. You probably won't, so. The most important spots are this corner over there. A lot of leverage from there. Um, upper barn, up there. And just generally in this room. Um... And that's that. That's that's your general takes and stuff. Uh, that's that's just about everything on port. I can, uh, as I said before, I'll show you guys more in-depth stuff and more precise strategies if you guys want it. But I just made this video so you guys have a general idea how to play each map and peek like you're supposed to against you know teams instead of just running blindly. A um, couple things: don't camp and spawn on T on T side on BL because that happens a lot for other teams and it gets annoying for everyone just don't sit there like you always try to be working something not not quick but you can play slow and then initially but don't sit there for two minutes wait waiting for them that's basically a sign that you have no idea what you're doing um so just just take it slow initially maybe and then work up or just start off um you know take it or just uh you know just blow up in the middle of the, in, in the beginning and just run and that's that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'll make some nade videos too if you guys want, and I'll, I'll talk about some more sh exact strategies later. Uh, did I talk about CT side, Albert? No, I didn't, right? No. Okay, CT, CT sides. CT, um, two one two is a general setup. Maybe two two one. Oh no, one two two is also a setup. Or two. Yeah, that's basically only setups. Only good ones, at least. Um, I'd recommend a guy here. To watch the window as they're pushing to get flashed out, he'll see he counter flash. Um, a guy maybe right here, or playing in sight, double stack, or playing maybe not. You did, you shouldn't play here, but you could peek it like this and then pull back. And yeah, that's for B sight. That's just you always want two people in B sight always. Guy middle, this is the most versatile spot. You could have a sniper, a rifle. You could have two people here, one person here. And if, depending on how many people you have, you play a passive or aggressive. If you have one, you'll play a passive like this, maybe, like hiding back here. Like, you know, smoke it up, just look for red names. Nade it, flash it, watch A connector cross, make sure they don't get into A connector. If they do, call for your teammate at A, get ready to rotate, because they might push A. And for this last round, I'll show you how to hold A. This is the hardest spot for sure to hold in the on CT side, because there's a lot of angles and a lot of easy ways just to die. So, Albert, go along. So the first spot, you always want someone up here. Best spot, clearly. They could flash you up here, yeah, like Albert just did. Um, but you're going to want to peek like this, and you don't want to over-peek it because it's easy to get you if uh, you peek too much. So you're going to want to peek it and just hide. Peek it, hide, peek it, hide, peek it, hide, you know, so they don't get you easily. If they start pushing, you could throw a nade off there, you know, something like that. And then if they push you too much and you want to surprise them, you could jump right here in this corner and just peek like that. Stop it, Albert. And then, um, yeah, and that's that. You have That's for one person, and then the second person usually can play around here. Or play here, which is not a great spot. Or play here. Or just be a rotator to mid and help middle. Need middle, need watch out, be connected. They can push out middle, so need that occasionally. Spray it, pre-fire the left door, right door. Need a connector. Oh, also you can need a connector from a top. Um, that's this is a good uh, counter, a connector from a top. You throw it right, right in there. Hits a connector inside. Oh, I failed, but you just throw it over, inside. And yeah, that's 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 it. So um. I just don't want to make this forever because there's a lot of things to talk about. And if you guys want anything more, just leave a comment and I will do it. So, uh, peace.